fallout from the Japanese earthquake and subsequent tsunami continues to dominate market talk at present. News of a third explosion in four days in one of their nuclear facilities have really rattled investors' confidence yesterday. The Nikkei was down as much as 13% yesterday before bargain hunters came in and saw the market close only down 10%. This caps about 17% losses in the last two days alone for the Nikkei index. This had a ripple effect onto international indices. In Australia, their market was down and the US and also back here in New Zealand yesterday. The US market was not down as much as it could have been and this is due to the Fed announcing yesterday that they'll continue their super loose monetary policy for the time being. The flow towards safe assets has seen the US dollar bid up against the New Zealand dollar over the last couple of days and the New Zealand dollar this morning was trading around 73 US cents. As pre-mentioned, the Federal Reserve in the US met overnight and their cash rate remained between 0 and 0.25%. They did note that the economy is on a strong, stronger footing now than it was last year, and this has been capped by the unemployment rate coming down to 8.9% from its previous 9.8% when they met late last year. Of particular note, they did seem to mention that the inflation pressures are there. However, it appears that these are fueled by high energy prices at present, and this has been passed off consumers in terms of very high fuel prices at the pump. Also yesterday, the Reserve Bank of Australia met and their cash rate remained at 4.75%. They noted that their economy was in balance at present. However, due to the optimistic outlook, it was likely that the RBA would have to move the official cash rate upwards once or twice further this year. Last night, the fortnightly global dairy trade auction was held, and prices were down on a trade weight and index of around 8.2%. Of particular note was the fact that whole milk powder prices were down around 11% over the three contract periods. Up until now, whole milk powder has been a star performer. From the bank's perspective, we are not concerned of the volatility in the global dairy trade auction at present. This is due to the fact that up until now we have seen strong run-up in commodity prices, and following the Japanese earthquake, it is only natural that commodities will diminish somewhat. It Every commodity from gold to soybean has down across the board recently and this is due to the direct impact that the Japanese earthquake is likely to have on the international commodity market. When we are looking to forecast long term it is hard to ascertain the direct impact of this event. However we do know that Japan is a huge importer of agricultural commodities and is the highest importer of pork, soybeans and canola oil in the world. Prices have been dramatically hit on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange recently However, it is hard to note if this is just a short-term dip or a long-term trend.